savage revenge on cheating soon to be ex-wife. Not done by me though. Hello True Story, you have yourself a new subscriber. When I've been looking for content that I can relate to, I found your channel. I'm going through a divorce currently. I've been married for a whopping two years. Yep, and she's already started an affair. What happened to the 7 to 10 year mark? I thought we had to get past the 7 to 10 years and we'll be good. If you all didn't know, they found that women most likely to cheat between 7 and 10 years of marriage, while men tend to cheat after 11 years. I know for sure I'd never cheat. That's just not me. I met my wife five years ago, in 2019, right before the world took a turn and the pandemic happened. I was working from home twice a week already, and immediately my company made us work from home permanently. Everyone was okay with it. We still was very productive and got through projects without missing a beat, thanks to our amazing IT team. So one morning, I ran to Speedway to grab coffee and a breakfast sandwich, and I saw my soon-to-be ex-wife, Mary, walk in and head back to grab a drink from the cooler. I couldn't resist. I followed and headed back to acting as if I forgot something. I purposely got into her way so we'd have to speak to each other. She said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm blocking you. I said, no, please, take your time. How are you this morning? She said, I'm wonderful. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I said, well, I'm much better now. I was a bit anxious due to a presentation I have to give in a couple hours, but seeing you has given me a sense of comfort. She smiled and said, wow, that is too sweet of you. She gave me her name. We talked for a little bit and she gave me her number. I felt good that day. Mary is attractive, very attractive. I called her later that evening around 7 p.m., and she answered and talked to me while she was cooking. We talked for a couple hours. Before we got off the phone, I set up a date, axe throwing and Japanese grill after. She was excited, and we agreed on the following Saturday. I made reservations, and one hour before I were to meet her at axe throwing, she texted me, Hey, so, so sorry to do this, but I have to cancel. I have an emergency. Can we reschedule? I was so ticked off. I didn't even text her back. Later that night, she calls and I don't answer. I just watched it ring. Then a notification for a voicemail pops up. I listen to her voicemail and she's crying. She apologized to me saying, I really hope you didn't think I was standing you up. My best friend was in an accident. I'm at the hospital right now, waiting in the lobby. She's undergoing surgery. I really hope to hear from you soon. When I heard that, I felt like crap. I really thought she was toying with me. I called her and was asking if she was okay. We talked for about 10 minutes before she told me where she was exactly, and I went to the hospital. I met with her there, and I sat with her and her friend's family. This truly wasn't bullcrap. Her friend got through the surgery and everything was fine, and today she's doing great. That night, Mary went back to my place. I lived closer to the hospital than she did. She was asking if she could take a shower and throw her clothes in the washer and dryer. I said absolutely and gave her my robe to wear. It was huge on her, but after she got out of the shower, she came to the living room, got right on top of me, and started kissing me. We made out, and then we had sex. I wasn't expecting it. It was great, very passionate, man. We ended up dating and hanging out all the time. It was great. I eventually met her friend who had the surgery, who's married to my buddy today. After dating for two plus years, almost three years ago, I proposed to her. I proposed to her on top of a mountain. We love hiking. We went hiking all the time, all around the world. Earlier on, we went to this certain mountain that we both really loved, and we thought it was romantic, and we actually made love on that same very mountain one night. Once before, I took her back to that same mountain. It had been a little while since we've been, but we went and hiked it once more. 
We got up to the top, and right there I proposed to her. It was beautiful. It was really nice. I really thought I found the one. She never gave me any signs that she would ever cheat on me. My parents loved her. Her parents seemed to love me, so when I found this out, I was completely surprised. Our wedding was great. Had a lot of fun. It was pretty big, too. Got married in the church and had a big reception. A lot of fun. We actually did not go on a honeymoon per se. We just took time off and spent that whole week with each other, just doing whatever we wanted to do. It was fun. We did things like go to the movies or stay up all night eating snacks. We went to a museum, but nothing big. Not like the typical honeymoon, but we both didn't really care to do so. We had travel plans in the future anyway, so we didn't really care to do it. I know typically in stories, well, in the stories I heard from you, if a man catches his wife cheating, it's usually with a colleague. Or even once I heard it was somebody's father, the guy's father. I thought that was nuts, but not in this case. I found out that my wife found this guy in Pilates class. I never really was into this type of class or anything, but I do work out. We both work out. But my soon-to-be ex-wife, she didn't know this would be a mixture of couples. Men and single people, single women, married couples. Everybody just mixed together. She thought it was just a woman's class for some reason. But when she got there, there were a bunch of married couples and single people. But I guess the guy that caught her eye was a married man. They knew each other was married. You can tell by the messages you think she'd do a better job at trying to hide this, but not really. She had him saved as J, the letter J. His name is John. I should give his full name so everybody can find out how to harass him, but I'm not going to do that. My soon-to-be ex-wife, she's very beautiful. I'll give her that. She has an amazing body. It looks like she's had work done, but she didn't. I'm pretty sure this guy was sitting there with his wife, checking out my wife. I do now know who John's wife is. We're friends on Facebook now, too. She's a bigger girl. She's not an ugly woman, but she's a big girl. And I guess her husband, John, was sick of it. He saw my wife, and he wanted her. But I can't just blame him. My wife allowed him to have sex with her. My wife gave him her number. My wife knew exactly what she was doing. Now, during our marriage, first year was good. It was fun. Things changed a little bit once we got married, though. I think we both felt like once we were married, things would automatically just be different and better because we're married. But it was nothing special about it. Okay, now we're married on paper. whoop de doo I will say after that first year, things started to go downhill, though. The bedroom sex did go down significantly. Her complaining began. I didn't do my share of housework here and there or I was supposed to fix this and fix that. She couldn't stand it when maintenance men had to come into our condo and fix something. She'd want me to do it. I'm good with my hands and I'm good with stuff, but, but what the heck? That's what they get paid for. She started complaining about me playing video games. I only play on Saturdays now. And I allow myself a couple hours, maybe three, to get some gaming in. And she was always okay with it. Sometimes she would sit and watch me play and even try to play herself. It was pretty funny. But all of a sudden, she hates that I play video games. She hates that I watch anime. It's so childish. Says that I'm a grown man. I need to grow out of this. Yada, yada. One day she came home. I had cooked dinner and everything and left it warming up on the stove for her. I had nothing to do. I wanted something to watch, so I started watching Baki on Netflix. She gets in. She says hi, and she walks right back to the kitchen. I said, well, dinner's in there if you're hungry. She says, thank God, I'm starving. She's making her plate, and she sits down in the living room next to me and immediately just gets ticked off. Are you a freaking 12-year-old? Why do you watch this stuff? It's so stupid. You're a grown man. Grow up. I did not marry a child. Why can't we watch Jeopardy or something? National news. Heck, a do-it-yourself how-to video on YouTube. Something that grown-ups do. Why do you want to watch cartoons? She took her plate and she went into our bedroom. 
shut the door, and ate in the bedroom. I finished my episode. I had like 20 minutes left. Once I was done, I went into the bedroom and she's watching a show she used to love. It's called Love is Blind on Netflix. I say, so you wanted to watch this instead, huh? You could have just said that. I would have cut I would have cut my episode off for you and we would have watched this show. I've watched shows that she liked with her because she liked them. She's watched shows with me because I liked them. She's never gone off like that before, though. I figured maybe it was that time of the month, but I'm usually pretty good with knowing when that happens and when it doesn't. We've been together long enough. She actually apologized to me, told me she was sorry for going off and she had a tough day at work. She talked to me about her colleagues disrespecting her and basically hating on her. Those were her words. This night happened not too long ago. This is the same night I found out she was cheating on me. They were just some, there was just something about her telling me this stuff about her colleagues and, and how stressed she is. This made me wonder if something was wrong. And then I thought, oh, she's pregnant. I started thinking that she was pregnant right then and there. Then I was sure she was pregnant. I just knew she was pregnant. I was so convinced. I was so convinced. Her being snappy, having an attitude, then apologizing and being all nice and being tired. All of a sudden, I just knew it. I actually got a little excited about that, thinking like, wow, I'm going to be a father. I didn't say anything to her, though. She ends up falling asleep. I grabbed a plate from off the side table to take into the kitchen to wash it and put it up, and I notice her phone vibrates, and it lights up. It's a text message from Jay. I thought that was interesting. Who is Jay? Just the letter J, not J-A-Y, but just the letter J. You can read part of the message, and it read, I was wondering, since you didn't have work next Tuesday, maybe we... And it cuts off there. So I grabbed the plate, take it to the kitchen, and just start washing the plate. I really wanted to look into the phone immediately, but I felt bad about it. Well, I shouldn't go snooping, but then I thought, this is my wife. Even if she was my girlfriend, and we're in a monogamous relationship, and she leaves her phone open like that, or leaves it laying around like that, and I know her password, it's free game, baby. We're supposed to be in an exclusive relationship. So if you leave your phone out, and you're cheating... That's your bad. That's your mess up. I was supposed to find it. You left it there for me to find. Anyway, I clean the plate, put it up, and I go back into the room. She's knocked out cold. She really did have a busy day or a stressful day, but I reach over to grab her phone, and her password is still the same. Her birthday, two-digit month, two-digit day. I go straight to Jay's messages and yep, my wife has been having an affair. He wants to meet up, go to a hotel. He's going to tell his wife he has to stay away for work and he'll just sleep at the hotel overnight while she comes back home to me. Going through the text messages, they definitely met in Pilates class. My wife have been doing Pilates for a very, very long time. Their message thread goes back for a very, very long time as well the same time she started the Pilates. And it's clear as day that they met there because they're talking about his wife and the messages. This guy is a piece of crap. He's talking about how his wife gained so much weight because of the birth control, because he doesn't want any kids, and he's not snipping anything on his body. He has gained weight, and he's just not attracted to her anymore. He saw my wife and thought she was everything, and he had to have her. The same day that they met, That same night, they had sex. I guess this is typical of my wife. You guys remember me and my wife's first date? We had sex that day. I guess if she just takes a liking to someone, she'll just sleep with them. I don't know. I often wonder how many times my wife may have cheated on me in our marriage or relationship. I have no idea. I recorded everything and I ended up finding out who this guy is because if you search his phone number in Google, his realtor information pops up. He is a realtor. He actually doesn't live too far from us. And I found him on Facebook and he's a married man with children. Yes, after recording everything, I immediately woke my wife up. 
I told her to get the F up and explain to me who the F John is. She immediately tried to start gaslighting me. You went through my phone? You don't trust me? I knew it. I knew it. You're a child. You're just a big old child. You want to play these games? She tried to put everything on me as if I was the problem, as if she's not sleeping with another man. I have the evidence. They sent news and pictures to each other. They bragged about how sex was better with each other than their partners, me or his wife. It was horrible. She told him he was more passionate. He was more controlling. He was stronger. How do you think that made me feel when I read that? I was hurt, man. I let her get out everything she was saying. All the gaslighting. And I told her we're getting a divorce. We're done. It's over. I grabbed my stuff and I left that night. She didn't fight me or anything. I told her she'd be hearing from my lawyer soon. I didn't care about leaving that place. We don't own it. I'm gone, man. And I've been staying with my brother ever since. Though she did get served at our apartment. My brother told me, hey man, make sure you go no contact with her. Block her on everything. I haven't needed I didn't need to, though. She hasn't contacted me not one time. I don't think she wants to be married to me anymore. She really is disgusted by me. She thinks I'm some young, childish guy who likes video games and cartoons too much. So why would she come running after me when she can have her AP John? I did contact John's wife. I told her everything. Initially, she didn't believe me and, I, and told me to stop harassing her via text. I was asking her if I could call at first. She said no. Please leave me alone. That's when I started sending her text messages between her husband and my wife. She then called me and I told her how they met at Pilates. And when I told her who my wife was, she immediately got kicked, ticked off. She called John checking out my wife in Pilates class a couple times. And she's called him out on it. Somehow, some way, when she was away getting dressed or using the restroom or something, he was able to sneak and talk to my wife. They exchanged numbers, and that's how it happened. I talked about everything with her. I told her how they slept together that very day because that's the day she told me she was starting Pilates. How they bragged about sex with each other, how they talked bad about her, how my wife talked bad about me, how they thought this was a big joke to them. John's wife wanted to know what my wife did for a living. I told her exactly what she did. I told her where she worked also. She thanked me and I didn't hear from her again until she did what she did at my wife's job. So like I said, my soon to be ex-wife's colleagues hate her guts. Once she, once she became manager, she told me everyone got jealous of her. My soon to be ex-wife does have a very forward personality and it can come off very rude. So I was surprised to learn that they were throwing her a birthday party at work. AP's wife found out where my wife works the day of her birthday, and she showed up while they were giving her a birthday celebration at the office. AP's wife called me and told me what she did. She says she walked into their conference room with everyone gathered, and she called out my wife, letting everyone know that she has held an affair with her husband. AP's wife said that she had no idea it was my wife's birthday, but when she got snarky with her, she went for the cake and threw it in my soon-to-be ex-wife's face. She said she hit her so hard that she fell to the ground. The wild thing is no one grabbed or tried to hold her, hold her until police came. She said she walked right out. <laughs> they were scared. <laughs> How big is this woman? <laughs> I can't control what AP's wife does to my soon-to-be ex-wife. That's not on me. But I was obligated to inform her that my wife and her husband were sleeping together. True story. My soon-to-be ex-wife and I do not have any assets together. We both make our own car payments for our, for our cars. We both pay for our own student loans. We don't own a home together. We don't have any children. If she's pregnant, I'm pretty sure it's not mine. So my lawyer is saying things should go by really smooth and I should be out of this marriage in no time. We'll see. I'll keep you posted on this true story. Thanks for allowing this platform for us men to come and share our stories and for young guys to learn from, man. I wish I would have heard all this stuff back years ago. 
I probably I probably would have never gotten married. Anyway, take care. Talk to you soon. Wow. <laughs> Dang, yes, for sure. Keep us posted, man. Uh you're doing the right thing by divorcing her for sure. Don't feel bad, man. She's telling you, oh, he's weak. You're better than him in the bed. My husband's weak. Dude, don't 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 let that get you down. Do not let that get you down. You're doing the right thing. Divorce her. And like you said, you can't control John's wife. So what she did to your wife, uh, karma. You know, you don't do it as long as you didn't send the hit. <laughs> She's probably going to think you did. But uh, yeah, man, I hope you get through this divorce and you get, you get out of this situation. She's a piece of crap. She is a piece of crap. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Ex-wife gets brutally beaten by AP's wife. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's what you get. Hey, True. I'd love to share what drove me to divorce court and kicking out my ex-wife. For a few weeks of our marriage, she was sleeping with a guy she met from work. He was a new hire at her job, and she trained him. Now, I'm not dumb. This is the time I caught her. Well, AP's wife told me, but of course, I'm pretty sure it wasn't her first time, even though she never gave me any suspicion. And she said, also, she'd never cheated before. But they all say that, right? Anywho, we were married for seven years, and I will tell you, Sex never slowed down with us. My ex-wife and I knew early in our lives that we did not want to be parents. Not because we were immature or selfish, but we both grew up not wanting kids. We both graduated from college and had good careers. I say had because she is still out of work today. Wow. I met my ex-wife at a college party. It was at the school I attended, and she was there with friends from another college, about an hour from there. We hit it off very well that night, so well that I actually hit it. She stayed the night with me. I didn't think that would turn into a relationship. In college, we'd meet girls and have one-night stands all the time. Not that I was ever really looking for anything serious, but me and my ex hit it off. Like I said, we ended up dating long distance during the remainder of our college. After graduation, I popped the question. We had a good marriage up until she came into the house stumbling and bleeding, followed by an angry woman coming through the door. Beautiful young woman, I might add. She looked like a young Angelina Jolie. Not to crap not to crap on my taste, but I didn't know why that young man cheated on her for my wife. Anyway, marriage was good and we always had a healthy sex life. We traveled a lot. My favorite was Thailand and Dubai. We went everywhere. Twice a year, actually. One week long vacations. One day, my wife comes home and she's telling me how there's a new intern at the office and how cute it is. I thought those were an odd choice of words, but she said, his wife must be so lucky. He's a handsome young man. Now, thinking back, that should have upset me, but it didn't. At the time, I didn't think anything of it. The guy my ex-wife cheated with was a very young guy. Only 19, going on 20, and this was his first internship ever. This kid was also married. Wow. Married that young is wild. But hey, whatever. To each their own. Anyway, every day she'd talk about how she was going to groom him to be the best at what she did and how excited she was when he successfully completed task for her. Four weeks in, I did not expect this to happen. One Friday evening, I'm at home. I usually arrive home before my ex-wife did. My ex-wife comes busting through the door. It was unlocked. She's crying and bleeding. I said, what the F, honey? What's wrong? 
I'm here. I grabbed her and I sit her up. She says, I was attacked. I ran and grabbed the phone and a young Angelina Jolie looking girl comes through the door. She says, I should F you up some more, B. My ex-wife looked petrified. The young lady says, is this your wife? I said, B, yes, I'm about to kick your butt. She says, your slut wife had been sleeping with my husband. I've already reported her to the company. I look at my wife, and my wife just says, Honey, I'm so sorry. It just happened. I'm so sorry. The young lady tells me they were in my bed having sex, and according to emails, this is not the first time. I was blown away. To shorten this up, I did take my wife to the hospital. We didn't speak the whole ride there. She admitted to cheating and said it only happened once. She begged me to forgive her. She made me promise that I wouldn't divorce her. I ended up filing for a divorce. I brought her out of the home and I moved on with my life. She lost her career. Until this day, she never recovered career-wise. She's tried starting her own business but nothing. She did remarry, but got another divorce. The reason I know about her divorce, because she contacted me, asking to rekindle our love, and told me how sorry she was. I knew all about her getting remarried, but I didn't know anything about the divorce. When she contacted me, they had just finalized their divorce. I respectfully told her, no, absolutely not. And that's the last I spoke to her. Oh, well, karma is a B. Wow. <laughs> karma is a B. That's what she gets. She, oh man, she took advantage of that young man. She took advantage of that young man. And you're, you're, the way you describe it, you said his wife was pretty hot or whatever. You said you couldn't understand why he cheated on his wife with your wife. <laughs> that's funny. Dang. Dang, that's crazy. Um, I don't know, man. She groomed him. She was uh oh, she was probably doing all types of stuff. She probably was buying him lunch. Oh, let me take care of you. Your girlfriend doesn't pack your lunch. I'll take you to lunch. She's probably doing all types of stuff, giving blowing him in the car, all types of stuff. He's having this experience. You know, at that age, he didn't probably watch all type of P-Hub videos. And, you know, this is maybe some fantasy of his. So, you know, he was easily manipulated by this woman. I'm, I'm glad she lost her career. Sleeping with the interns? Are you serious? You're sli Wow. She's sleeping with the interns. No, 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 no. Ma'am, you cannot. Man, I wonder what happened to the, the guy and his girl. Did, did his girl divorce him? Or how's his career? You know, did he get in trouble? Did he, he probably got fired too. If she got fired for it, she, he probably got let go too. That's a bad, that's a bad look. You know, he can't go to another job saying I have experience. So luckily he was young because the next time he gets a job, he can pretend like it's his first job ever. His first career job, his first intern. Yeah, I've worked at McDonald's in high school, but this will be my first one. You know, <laughs> this will be my first intern at this company or at a company like this. So lucky for him. Um, and hopefully he learned his lesson. Don't sleep around at work. Man, karma is a bee. I love it. Guys, if you want to send in a story, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com. Whether it's a funny story, a successful story, a story where you feel like someone's going to learn from it, go ahead and send those stories in. I'll put the email on the screen, truestorynation at gmail.com. I'm going to catch you guys at the next one.